real estate activity in Cyprus during the second quarter of 2022 reports a relative increase in most property values. High demand for buying and renting, combined with limited supply, is pushing up property prices. New buyers in 2022 have shown a peak interest in buying properties for investing as well as renting. This has been happening despite the price increases of the property's prices as well as rental values. Residential properties are performing well, with the prices of apartments and houses on an upward trend. However, retailing and warehousing continue to struggle, although prices for both have stabilized. An island-wide increase year-on-year -year was observed in the value of apartments up by 8% and houses up by 4.6%. The value of holiday homes has been increasing since 2016. Although their value fell at the beginning of 2020 until mid-2021, they are continuing to gain ground. Year on year, the value of holiday homes has risen by 4.0%. Holiday homes in Famagusta performed best, rising by 6.5%. A big chunk of demand comes from the domestic market, with local buyers eyeing older properties that are not affected by the increased cost of raw materials. A significant increase was also recorded in transactions for building sites to be developed, indicating that land development entrepreneurs are planning and developing new projects to meet rising demand. In addition, there is an increasing interest from Israel and Lebanon. The demand from Ukrainians and Russians is also significant. The war in Ukraine created opportunities due to 25,000 Ukrainians seeking refuge in Cyprus. Furthermore, a number of Russians have also arrived, pushing demand even higher, driving up both sale and rental values. Limassol is emerging as one of the world's most dynamic cities. You can invest in a modern property for your future. A huge range of villas, apartments, townhouses and golf resorts are available. Paphos, since the allowance of constructing buildings over four story has been revoked opening the doors to build new, exciting projects never seen before in Paphos that are very attractive to lucrative investors coming from abroad. The market is the best it's been in decades, but this will not last for long. As the stock market has indicated with a downward momentum since the market peaked in November 2021 we are in a bear market which is likely to continue through 2023 before settling down. Nicosia appears to be driving growth in terms of transaction volume, mainly driven by demand from the locals who live in Nicosia. In their majority they are employed by the government, banks, or associated companies. These employees have index-linked salaries, strong union protection, and their clients are locals, and risk-averse. The Nicosia property market is the least likely to be affected by the aforementioned external factors, although there is some scaling back of investment due to the rise in interest rates and the increase in construction costs. The next few months are expected to be difficult for the economy and the international financial and energy crises bite deeper, and the island is slowly entering an economic recession, following the rest of the European countries. But real estate prices are not expected to drop. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get alerts when a new video is posted. You are welcome to write your comments, questions, or concerns you would like to share.